Hello and welcome! This video is about Alchemy Lab and we're going to tell you everything about all the options that you can do with your Alchemy Lab and I'm going to show you examples of how it all works. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. Here we go. Okay, first things first, we'll cover the info. Basically, it says you can use various materials to craft potions and crystals. When you upgrade the number of workers that can work and type of potions and crystals you can craft will increase. Right now, at level 15, I can do five people. There's no workers on it, but I can repeat the task 15 times. So that is how the info tab is covered. Let's move on to the next one I can explain, which is uh, upgrade. So we'll see how that is. Now, it says that the maximum crafting spots, as you know, is six if I upgrade it to the next level. The current number of workers, there's nobody on it, and I can repeat the task one more time. And here's the materials that I need to uh, craft it. If the numbers are teal or light blue, then you are good. You meet the requirements. If they're red, you need to collect more. And uh, when you're ready, you just tap upgrade and you're all set. We're going to go into basic now and save the uh, longest explanation for last. So in basic crafting, uh, you can do this one, which is a... Uh, used in the great desert to allow you to move better it's like a buff you just need the three materials that you can collect here in the camp you can do stamina potions and they organized it from purple being the biggest one that you have then blue then green and when you look down here at the potions they flipped it so white green blue and purple is at the bottom and yellow is the largest of course so you can do this, but a word of caution. Breath of Life can be obtained when your workers do logging, forging, and mining. The other one, Breath of Creation, same thing. Logging, forging, and mining. It takes a long time to get these things, so do not waste them. And uh, I will show you an example of what I mean. For now, you can make crystals to slot into your gear. Lightstone fragments for the uh, for being out in Hadoom, and this is what I work on at the part where I'm at. I use it for dimensional crystals, awkward crystals, and primal rift totems. Uh, cron stones are very much in demand when you get to the mid mid to end of game. You can get them in the pearl shop, which I don't condone or recommend. Only if you have the budget but otherwise you can always craft them here. And I'm showing you this video so I can upgrade to level 16 and I can do magical essence. So it's waiting for me to do that and then I'll be able to have access. Let's move on to material exchange. I'm going to explain the material tab to you. So the first one is uh, under Smith. You can make your chaos jewels, flame of Hongik is a uh, Path of the Morning Light content, and Lapis Lazuli. Here it is, Breath of Life and Breath of Creation. You see these numbers? This is how much I have collected over the course of two to three years. Do not waste it. <laughs> there is no, I want to buy some. You just have to save for it if you're going to use it. And uh, memory, memory shards, I have a video about memory shards, crystals, here's where you can make the dimensional crystals. Uh, process is for Chaos Rifts. Mar Marowak Pathfinder is the new uh, labyrinth that came out. And everything that says shield is for Chaos Rifts. Uh, going all the way down uh, in difficulty. And special trade goods. It's just odds and ends. Some of this stuff, actually all of it, supports giving to a wandering merchant in your merchantry section of the game. Exchange material is old content if you still have this stuff. And fish delivery is when you're out there in the ocean doing the great ocean content. You might as well 
turn all this stuff in so you can get the coins to get these chests to upgrade your ship. So this is why this section is here. So I'm just going to cover the material tab, which is right there under material exchange. And now for the big one, alchemy stone. There is a lot to explain for alchemy stone and giving examples and such. So without further delay, let's start. Inside, there are six things to do. Craft, synthesis, amplify, awaken alchemy stone, enhance alchemy stone, and combine alchemy stone. We're gonna start with craft. Simply put, you, when you get alchemy stone fragments, you craft an alchemy stone. I actually need to add alchemy stone fragments into my inventory, but you get them from Ancient Ruins and Tower of Trials. You can also get them if you have the budget in the pearl shop. I don't always support that uh, spending money because it's a wonderful free to play game. But if you have the budget, you can do that. So let's go ahead and add alchemy stones to my inventory. And it is now done. Uh, we can go back to craft now that we have our alchemy stone fragments. And there it is. I have a lot. I've been saving it for quite a long time. So what you do is you tap here on craft and it will create a random alchemy stone. There's so many it has to choose from. We now have stone of support. The uh, crit chance is negative 2%, so you take a hit on crit chance, but your sub weapon that you have will gain plus one in level. When it comes to the auto craft button that is next to craft, you just tap on that and would you like to auto craft alchemy stones based on all the fragments that you have so you can tap on auto craft and synthesize which is what we're going to talk about next but for now we're just going to make a few uh, to show you the next section with this which is uh, synthesize so this one you're taking a hit on hit points but you're getting a plus one Let's see the next stone that we have. And this one is a negative hit to move speed, but your shoes and your gloves are a plus two. So always beneficial. And let's move on to synthesis. So basically what it is, is you're taking three alchemy stones to combine them into a new alchemy stone. You never know what you're gonna get. Don't expect a red or anything extravagant. Sometimes it happens, but we're talking uh, one out of a thousand tries, maybe, maybe. But if you do have orange alchemy stones that you just don't need, like because of the negative effects, and you're trying to find one like Stone of Courage is not bad, but it's negative for uh, defense, you put them all in and you hit fuse. And it's 12,000 silver to do this so you do that and you're getting alchemy stone fragments back which is 35 so here's our new stone hit on move speed but armor and helmet is plus one so not bad if that's what you're looking for so there's also the auto select but uh, you'll see that uh, you can do this for any type but I highly don't recommend <laughs> you do that for reds uh orange it's the order of orange then red i would recommend just sticking to orange alchemy stones and combining them into reds so you can do uh, auto select which will just pick three at random and uh there's also auto synthesize which is a screen where you can choose stones up to red will be automatically synthesized this is if you don't have time and what you have in your inventory you don't care about you can auto synthesize this to get something better but i warn you it could go from red back down to orange so don't be mad at me it's just how it works and on the select type you can select everything that you want I will tell you that Lucky, Unified Savage, and Brave are very important as we move into this video and Enhanced Stones is what everyone has so Power Steel and Ultimate Stones is really what you want to use to synthesize and of course you can auto craft and synthesize because you get fragments 
So the autosynthesize is uh, pretty beefy. So when you're ready to uh, use it and you have stuff in your inventory you don't care about, then go for it. If you do, put it in your camp storage or lock it down so it can't be automatically grabbed. So all of that, we got a stone of stability and let's go ahead and move on to the next part. And next up is Amplify. So when you have a orange stone that you care about, you can then amplify it and you want to. So what we're gonna do is show you an example of how this works. We'll just choose one about stone of stability. And uh, I wanna go through the interface here. It takes Kafra's dust, and yes, I have a lot. I've been saving, but right here, the information, if you need Kafra's dust, it's in ancient ruins or merchantry. So you get it from there. But here's the Kafra's dust. It tells you what it is. And if you tap on acquisition, it says you can go into ancient ruins as well. Where in merchantry, uh, you'll figure that out when you enjoy that section of the game. But it looks like ancient ruins is the play on where to go. <laughs> so these are the stats of what Stone of Stability has. And this magnifying glass, you tap on that and you can get a preview of what it looks like when you go up in level and how many levels there are. So we're going to just tap on the right arrow to increase it in success. And you'll notice there is no percentage of chance that you'll succeed, it just does. So that's nice. What I'm showing you here is that from plus 14 to plus 15, your enhancement changes from plus two to plus three. So it's a really nice perk as you keep going up. And I believe it goes all the way up to plus 30. So we'll just keep going. And was it at plus 30 when that changes down below? Yep. When you hit the maximum of plus 30, then it finally tops out at everything. Shoes and gloves plus four. So this is a benefit if you're starting out the game and you're trying to increase your, your power, your CP. This is what you want to strive to because it's needed. You need a plus 30 to move on to the next phase of increasing your alchemy stone. So if you tap on Kafra's dust, you'll see that percentage there. And the circle will start to fill in from all, clockwise all the way around. And it's at plus two right now. So you can actually tap and hold to apply the Kafra's dust. But I'm letting you know here that as you go up in level or in uh, plus two to plus three and, and as it increases, the amount of Kafra's dust you need gets a little bit more and a little bit more. So we're holding it down, just getting all the way to plus 30 so you can see that. And of course it costs 15.7 million silver. So I hope that you are getting a good amount of silver because this venture is getting expensive. So we're going to go ahead and uh, amplify this so we can move on and show you what that is like. So let's go ahead and uh, tap on it. There we go. And yes, confirm. So now we have it. Now we took a hit on AP, it's minus three AP, but the plus four to the two pieces of gear is really nice. So ultimately there's a, a way of getting orange to red to, to uh, pink. And then beyond that, I actually have a chart that I wanna show you, but it's a little bit later in this video. So for this one, I want to uh, say so let's give it plus five. I want to show you that you need it to be at plus 30 to continue. It won't even show your plus five. It's like no, there's nothing here if it's not plus 30. So moving on to the next one, which is awaken your alchemy stone. And again, you can only do this right there. Awaken alchemy stones that are abyssal or higher and at plus 30 amplification level. So from here, we need to go into our craft section and create a red alchemy stone. 
So what I'd like to do is introduce you to the section in crafting for alchemy stones. If you go to gear and then tap on others and it's already on alchemy stone at the very top, let's get to know this section. At the very bottom is the orange alchemy stones, but these are specialized because if you tap and it takes 60,000 fragments to get one of these chests, but Stone of Victory and Stone of Hunter are special, but at least they're orange and if you're trying to figure out how to start, you can do that as well. But get to know all these red alchemy stone chests all the way up to enhanced. So let's just move it there. Now all of them have different attributes. Most of them are 60,000 to create a chest to get one. And that enhanced alchemy is 120 because it's most favored. This is what people call the sushi, the, the Japanese fish sushi. That's just what it looks like. But these are what everyone uses. I use them and this is the second most used thing, a lucky stone, but not really the stone of abundance. So it's usually the red lucky stone. All these other ones, they all have a purpose Unified is in uh, in guild battles, Savage Brave is used for um, the Harmony Stone, which we'll see later on this video, as well as the Lux Stone and the Enhanced Stone. But all the other ones are used for guild events. So <clears throat> what we want to do is focus our attention on the Enhanced and be consistent with getting the enhanced all the way to where we need it. So we'll go ahead and confirm and create one. Okay, so now that we have a red chest, let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. It doesn't matter what it is for the purposes of this video, but if, uh, if I was to take a wager on which one I would suggest for you, it's always the one that can do uh, well, it's actually your call. They, there's three of them. They do different things. I'll show you. Here's where it's at in the inventory. So we'll go ahead and use it. There we go. And let's see what we got. We got... There's a red, orange, and a purple. So we got the orange one. They all amplify gear plus one. It's this right here. Max hit points plus 500 is what makes it special. So, oh, okay. This is not a bad one. It's fine. If you're doing a crit build, then you'll probably want, I think, the purple one, and the red one is the one that I use. So we'll go ahead and select it. This is how where it is in your inventory. So we'll go back to Alchemy Lab. And we are going to awaken the Alchemy Stone. But before we do that, we need to pretty sure we need to amplify it say plus 30 amplification level to even touch a red so we have a red we just need to amplify it up to plus 30 so just like we showed you previously we're gonna choose it and we're going to uh, increase it all the way up to uh, plus 30 so uh, here's an example of the other one black spirit skill damage plus 25% so if you use the Black Spirit skill a lot, then this would be a good uh, alchemy stone for you. Going back, we can also see our list of which ones are available and they also show their, what makes them special. See, they all have amplified gear plus one and I only have two out of the three, but plus 500 or Black Spirit skill damage. So if you tap on the magnifying glass, we can see what happens when we increase it all the way up to 30? You get this much DP, or excuse me, uh, CP, and your amplified gear goes up to plus three. So we are just gonna skip that since we already showed you how Kafras does and increasing this works. We're just gonna do it this time. So <laughs> we'll tap and hold and just make it happen. So if you're looking in the middle towards the top, there it is, plus 30. We'll go ahead, see how much Kafra dust it, I have left over, see how much it costs, be aware, tap confirm, and there we go. 
So now we're all set to move on to the next section of the Alchemy Lab. Now that we have a plus 30, which is Awaken Alchemy Stone. Remember the requirement, plus 30 amplification level of a red, and we have that. So all you do here is be aware of how much the Kafir's Dust is, which is 30,000 to awaken it. And it will take it from a 30 to a Roman numeral 1. If you need more Kafir's Dust, Ancient Ruins is where you go. And uh, as far as cost, it's only Kafir's Dust. And Kafir's Dust is not common to get. Uh, there is ways to get it, but... Um, I would recommend uh, use it very wisely. So we'll go ahead and just show you the cutscene. It's pretty cool. I, I think she's cool. <laughs> and there we go. So it's now awakened. Look at the increase from 53 to 70. Definitely worth your time to awaken your alchemy stone. And they give you plus 5% PvP damage dealt and PvP damage reduction 5%. So there we go, we'll tap on confirm. And this is how Awaken Alchemy Stone works. So now it's time for Enhance Alchemy Stone. Now, to enhance it, you actually uh, would tap on the example we're going with, which is the uh, enhanced stone that we just awakened and it shows at the bottom that you can use as material to increase its level any of the three types and the fourth and fifth one are different materials let me go ahead and show you this is the critical hit damage plus 50 percent that's the red one i spoke about so you could either do that this is the one we're working on, maximum hit points, uh, plus 500, and you know this one, Black Spirit skill damage, plus 25%. This you may not know, Faded Enhanced Stones. It's material that you come across, uh, you need to beat the Executioner for the uh, boss to get all of this stuff. And of course, Kafir's Crystal is another material that you use to enhance this with success or actually enhance it i'll just say that you get the kafir's crystal in twisted nightmare or you can manufacture it which is really cool so now that you know the materials you use let's tap on the magnifying glass and show you the success it is at 70 so to go from zero where it's at to plus one is a hundred percent success rate you could use the Kafiris, uh crystal if you wanted to, but I don't have one, so I don't uh, know why it appears there. I think it's just letting you know you can use it. So from plus one to plus two is a 100% success rate, and now we're moving into restoration scrolls to recover. If you don't succeed, you're gonna need this material, so can be used as material to craft all that <laughs> so we're looking at how far you can get which is from plus two to plus three it's a hundred percent success rate from three to four it starts at 60 and then 51 percent and this goes all the way up to 10 and we're at seven eight Look at how much patience you need. <laughs> nine. And from nine to 10 was 0.3%. In other words, save, 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 and do it in a big uh, clump to give yourself a chance of success. So we're going to uh, get this, uh, just show you what it looks like to enhance it. So we'll go ahead and uh, do that. Now there is the auto enhance you could choose as well. If you tap on that, it let's get used to this interface. On the left hand side, it shows you if you succeed, what your CP increase will go from 70 to 80. So it's a 20 CP increase. 
Over here is the material you can use. You don't have to use it all, it auto checks it for you. You could just use certain ones if you wanted. Like I would just want to do faded enhanced stones before the other stuff. And vice versa, it's your call. And of course target is how high you want it to go. And uh, I just leave it at that. It's always the best advice to do it one at a time. If you're going for one, go for one. If you're going for two, if you have thousands of material, put it on 10 and walk away. Not really. Put it on five, like Roman numeral five, and check, and then from five going on. If nothing else, you would run out of Kafra's Dust or Restoration Scrolls before you would ever run out of the material that you need. So we'll go ahead and just confirm. Yep, tap anywhere to confirm. And there it is. We knew it was 100%, so not a problem. Okay. And there we go. So, this is how Enhanced Alchemy Stone works. What we're going to do now is dive into a larger section called Combine Alchemy Stone. So, here we go. So, I ended up skipping a step and I want to express what that was. And that was, let's go back to craft the red Roman numeral 1 uh, alchemy stone that we just created. I turned it into a pink red Roman numeral 1 by doing an example of this. I added it to here, to the material. I used Kafra Secret book, book Page and Lapis Lazuli and made a plus 1 restorative. Actually, it's a critical enhanced stone, excuse me. Now, we want it to be a chaos stone, but it says, if we go back, you need, let's read it, you need an awakened plus three or higher primal enhanced stone. So our uh, alchemy stone is currently plus one, so we need it to be plus three. So let's go to enhance alchemy stone. And this is the part I skipped, I apologize. You'll see that it is pink, plus one, tap on it, you remember those materials again, we're going to use these uh, single ones, and you remember that you can get from plus one to plus three because the success rate is 100% after plus three, uh, it's all you and your materials. So we're going to go ahead and select that, and that is our goal, is to get it to plus three so we can move on and turn it into a Chaos Alchemy Stone. And here we go. We'll go ahead and tap Enhance and Confirm. So, while I do this process of getting it from plus one to plus three, so we could turn it into a Chaos Alchemy Stone, I wanna take this moment to tell you that there is a uh, picture I put together so that you can view it and see the journey that we have taken from start all the way up to Chaos uh, Alchemy Stone. It's a really nice visual and I will explain all the details of it but I wanted to give you a heads up that if this seems like a lot of information that's coming at you this picture I built for you should make things a lot easier to digest all of this video. So now we have our plus three so we come back to craft and others, and it's on Alchemy Stone, and here's what we want in Chaos Alchemy Stone. And you want one of each of these to put into your Harmony Stone. As you can see, Lucky, Savage, and Brave are the only ones, as well as Enhanced, that they care about. The other ones are specialized. We do need Chaos Jewels, Ocrid, Kafra's Secret Book Page, and Lapis, Lapis Lazuli. Give me a moment, let me put that in the inventory. And just like that, it's all set. So now you can see that we have the materials that we need. Now if you don't know where to get them, just tap on the item and it'll say acquisition and it'll tell you where to go. So we now have a plus three and everything, all we have to do is tap on it, tap on it again to register it and tap on register. And now we're ready. See at the bottom, see how much silver it costs? This is not cheap. That's, uh, well, I just can't do the math right now. <laughs> a little bit tired, sorry. 
But yes, let's confirm and create our Chaos Alchemy Stone. So there's the animation. Congratulations. And you can see that the the increase in CP has really gone up from our journey of start to here. So now that we have a plus three, now's the time to explain the rest. Your next move is to create a Harmony Stone. And you can see Chaos Jewels and Awkward is needed. But before we do that, you need to make sure you unlocked it. You come here to Log, or excuse me, Story. And it is located under Essential. And if you scroll over, you're looking for the quest called With Great Power. I have completed it, obviously, to show you. But look, Unlocks Harmony Stone. If there are requirements for you to do before you can even unlock this, then do it. And then once you have it available, then complete it. So your Harmony Stone will be an option for you. If you do Comes Great Harmony, it allows you to awaken your Harmony Stone once you make it. But that's not in this video, but it will be an option for you if you do that quest. Now that you completed those quests, you'll see it in your craft section under Others, and it'll be right there, Harmony Stone to make. And this is what we want to do. This is our next step. You need this. So once you have the materials, then we go ahead and craft it. So what I'm showing you is the Harmony Stone I created and I used the Enhance Alchemy Stone in the Alchemy Lab to get it up to plus three. I'll get back to it later and increase it, but I want you to look at the Harmony Stone as a container. It holds four Chaos Alchemy Stones, specific ones. Luck, Savage, Brave, and Enhanced. So we made this enhanced one here at the bottom. Let's add it. And it costs 100,000 silver. So if you're at this level, 100,000 silver should be like a penny to you. It should be nothing. So that's also the cost to take it out. You can add it and take it out. 100,000 silver, as much as you like, as long as you have the silver. And uh, if you need silver, well, see my video on uh, the Cursed Pirate Island. Okay, so I wanna talk about resonance. That is the no resonance applied at the bottom and what that means. In order to do this, we need to remove what we already added. So we're just gonna remove them. And I want to go and show you the Enhanced Alchemy Stone section. We have plus threes, and I also have a plus nine and Roman numerals. But I wanna show you that you need your alchemy stone to be up to Roman numeral one to affect and get a resonance. So as you can see, getting it all the way up there, you can see the success rate. It, it just bottoms out below 1%. So to get uh, pry, it's actually 0.28%. So you wanna save as much material as you can and do it in big chunks to give yourself a chance to get it to at least Roman numeral one. So I had a lot of materials, I've saved it for a long time and uh, that's why you see what I have in my inventory and how far I've gone. I just have one more left to do. So to hone in on the resonance, here is the four that I have, and you can see all the work I've done. So let's go ahead and tap on the plus nine. And uh, if you tap on the magnifying glass for resonance, you'll see that it goes all the way up to 40th resonance. I'm just zipping by it as quick as I can. And you can even read at the bottom that it's a, it says, gain additional effects based on total enhancement level and it needs to be pry so this needs to go from plus 9 to 10 and then plus 10 to pry and then I'll be all set but as you can see no resonance applied for a plus 9 see and again there it is pry or above combined with a harmony stone 
So let's go ahead and add the other ones and explain how that works. Now that we have a pry, it gives an enhancement total of one. So you're adding the Roman numerals for how it affects this section. So we're gonna do this one right here, the lucky stone, which is Roman numeral three. And yes, I know it sounds like basic math, so we're at four. So if you tap on it, you'll see that we jumped from one all the way to four and went from plus five all the way to plus 20. So all of the effort and hard work you put into each stone will get you further along in the, in, in the resonance. So once again, if we put our other plus three, now we're at seven. And we jumped from four all the way up to seven. And look at the CP increase. So this is what you wanna work on at the end is each stone up to pry or better and your harmony stone enhanced as well. So it's time to bring out that picture to show you your journey. Here we go. So I put this together to show you how far you have come. We initially started on the left, going all the way to the right. We crafted our first orange alchemy stone. Then we amplified it to plus 30. And then we went to our craft section to create an enhanced alchemy stone that was red. And then we amplified that to plus 30. And then we were able to awaken the alchemy stone. And then we went back into our craft section to meet the requirement for creating a pink alchemy stone. So we created that and then we needed to enhance it to plus three. So it's a plus three pink because the chaos alchemy stone, the next step needed a plus three uh, enhancement to create a chaos stone that's purple. So now we created that and now you make sure in the story that you unlock the harmony stone and once it is, now you can create your Harmony Stone, the container. And once you have that, you already have a plus three Alchemy Stone, or excuse me, yeah, Chaos Alchemy Stone ready to go. Now you work on getting the other stones to plus three. You know it's a 100% success, so ultimately you have a Harmony Stone with all four stones plus three ready to go. And after that, it's all you. You can individually work on your alchemy stones to increase them from plus three all the way up to the journey of pry and get that resonance CP, or you can improve the actual harmony stone itself, your call. And with that, let's go to our outro. Here we go. So on behalf of Archmage and myself, Maggi, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like the videos on this channel, please like, subscribe, let people know I am always making more videos and there are always more videos left to do. So once again, thank you very much and you have yourself a great day. Take care. Bye now.